hello guys in this presentation we are going to look at the ss7 vulnerabilities and tool to detect them let's start with the purge ms purge ms is used between vlr and the hlr to mark that this ms has been purged from the service and any incoming call or sms coming to coming for this ms will be will be treated as not reachable insert subscriber data is used between VLR and the HLR to insert new subscriber data after location update. One can use this message to insert subscriber data into the VLR with false, false details, which could cause illegal subscriber service activation. Delete subscriber data is used between HLR and the VLR to delete some specific subscriber data from the VLR. Once this data has been deleted, the subscriber is treated as either shut down or not reachable. Send authentication info flood could cause huge load on the HLR. Send routing info exposes the MC of the subscriber, which is leaking of the privacy of the subscriber. Hostile location update and the cancel location update can cause the user targeted denial of service. If the proper filtering is not done, map ATI exposes the location of the subscriber. Send identification info on TMC range can cause huge load on HLR, which could cause slow working of the HLR. Global title of the HLR can be inferred from the send MC response, hence attacker can send a different message directly to the HLR. Special TCAP scan can expose the SSN available in the SSN network. Using this scan, attacker can find out what all SSN available on the network and perform the different attack which are discussed earlier. There are some more attacks which are possible which are yet to, yet to be implemented in this tool. Some attacks which are not discussed in this slides are sending IIM flood on the MSC which could cause occupying all the available channels in the MSC which could cause a denial of service on the MSC. Our tool helps telecom operator to identify these issues and eliminate them by filtering them at the at the STP level or at the point code level. Telescale system stack used in this tool is provided by Telestacks. In this demo, we are looking at a tool that will allow us to explore all the signaling point code available on the SS7 network. To continue with the demo, I am using a USSD server by Telscale to act as a remote signaling point code. So let's proceed with the demo. Run the application. We can, we, we can look at the details which are here. Stack is initialized, everything is there. Now let's look at the SCTP log. As you can see, the connection M3 UA connection is established. Now, let's for the payload to the payload to shoot. As you can see, uh, you can see the SST message has been sent, and we can see here that we are getting a reply as a SS, SSA, which is a subsystem available of an affected point code is seven. So let's look in here. As you can see here, we are getting the details like incoming message. Incoming point destination point code was 2, originating point code was 7. So we can say here that we are getting a destination, uh, we, we can explore the point score which are available on the SS7 network using this vulnerability. We can also see here, we can also see here that one text, text file is also generated, which is here. It says that the SS signaling point code 7 is available. That's it for this demo. Let's look after another demo. Now let's look at some other vulnerabilities, which is a GMLC vulnerability as well as a location update vulnerability and purge MS vulnerability. Let's uh, so here to run this, uh, I've, I've created one fake HLR, which uh, responds to the specific request. And these are the some map messages which I'm going to send to this fake HLR and I'm going to see whether it's a response or not. So let's start the server and start the HLR in other words. Let's start our uh, vulnerability scanner. Now let's look at the Wireshark logs. As you can see, M3 UA handshake has been taken place. Now let's wait for the payload to be shooted. As you can see here, payload has been sent and we are getting the reply to it. As you can see here, for any time interrogation, we are getting the reply from the HLR. For purge MS, we are getting the reply for the SLR. For send authentication info, we are not getting any reply. Uh, for update location, we are not getting, getting any reply. So these two tests are failing here. It means HLR is protected for the for these two, these two types of attack. And HLR is vulnerable for the purge MS and the ATI message. 